Uh, so this is a fight against El Nath. We're gonna try to five man El Nath. So what you need is breaker, uh, magic, spirit, all kind of breaker because he's vulnerable to all kind of breaks. And you, uh, if you have a lid, you won't, you may be interested into giving her as many as possible uh, LB gain because that would let her um, get a lot of uh, LB and her LB is very strong uh, her LB would break the boss 70% defense and all stats uh, all stats 70% reduction and that is 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 huge okay so uh, let's take a look where is my dual will um for some reason I don't see my dual will there we go this is how do I'm gonna give her all the gear that is possible to gain LB crystals and improve upon receive um, if you guys want to know more about LB gain watch my uh, one of my videos if you go into my collections my videos you're going to see a video that talks about LB gain in depth Okay, um, second unit you need to have AoE physical tank, uh, essentially because Elnath is gonna do a lot of AoE and hyper damage, and if possible to make him high uh, lightning, high wind, and absolutely evasion. Um, you have a physical unit, okay, does a lot of physical damage, so you have one physical unit. You have a magical unit, magic dealer, and a healer. Okay. Now, the deal is as as follows. We're gonna fight him now. As we go, I will teach you guys what you should do, but uh, not necessarily what is what unit you use or what TMR. Okay. Essentially, first, uh, okay, this now is starting turn one. You want to drop the boss attack and magic. This is your breaker uh, job. So your breaker breaks, and then your AoE physical tank will cover. Okay. Now, what you want to do, your physical unit and your magical unit start DPSing. Okay. So we're gonna start with this. And then your healer can do like support skills like lightning and wind uh, uh, increase. Um, also would work if you have onion knight. Onion knight can do wind, huge wind resistance increase. And that would work greatly. So you're gonna start and do your stuff. Them DPSing the boss. So first phase, there is not, not nothing a lot, um, but what you mainly looking for is to uh, reach second phase as fast as possible. Your healer can do um, whatever, I guess. Um, depends on your composition you may your healer may need to do a little bit more work but for me my healer doesn't really need to do much okay so we are entering phase two as 59 percent now at 59%, uh, El Nath is having uh, two arms, right? These two arms, depending on which arm you would kill, that would determine how you kill El Nath. So to do the missions, these missions, you would need to kill the left arm first. That because you want to kill El Nath with magic. If you kill the right arm first, 
then Elnath will become immune to magic and you can't get Mind Eater Plus. So what you want to do is you, you would try to finish off the left arm as fast as possible. You go on the left arm, maybe use LB, LED, LB well for me, to do my break. And I do the break. Then the left arm is weak. I believe I can finish it off uh, on one hit. I'm gonna buff my uh, my team again, just in case. I'm gonna buff the wind and the lightning. I'm gonna make my warrior of right, uh, warrior of light ready. Um, so the left arm. I'm gonna do the left arm right now. DG Sakura. She gonna go. Beautiful. Finish the left arm. Okay. You may need more turns against the left arm. Now the right arm. Okay. Right arm. Uh, right arm is immune to magic, so your physical you need to need to deal magic to that. So Oni Knight doing good job. Uh, what we want to do is probably giving the team a little bit health and it'll be crystal. Welcome back, Sam. Uh, <clears throat> uh, by the way, everyone, Sam Coder82, he's working on a nice project that help you guys to ch to do your chaining, uh, that give you a good insight of how chaining works. Um, feel free to seek my uh, videos. Uh, I talk in depth on how is um how we do it uh soon he will publish probably the first uh, testable uh sample of the project and we're gonna interview him and we're gonna see how would that work So what we're gonna do? We're gonna keep up the stack on CG, on uh, on CG Sakura, and then probably let she's going to. Probably she's gonna increase her uh, her gains. So we're gonna go and try and kill the right arm as you can you guys can see the right arm about to fall down so next turn Elnath going to do to uh, we, we are trying to make him enter the, the last phase now your unit the, your uh, physical damage dealer, in my case, my Onion Knight. This is the last job he would do. He's going to finish the right arm. And from now on, Onion Knight will have almost no job whatsoever. Okay. So, for in this case, I am going to defend. Because the next turn... Uh, Elnath going to do huge damage on the team. Uh, and CG um, Fina, she's going to give us revive. Because most likely there will be a wipe. So we're going to wait. Next turn. Alright. So right now Elnath will be weak against uh, magic and CG Sakura she would be able to take him down and then we're gonna break him hoping to uh, mitigate the um, mitigate his damage but if that is not possible then we have re-arise on everyone 
by now. So we're gonna break him. Onion Knight at this point he have nothing to do. So he will defend. Warrior of Light going to defend. Seiji Sakura she is going to move us to the third phase. Now we are in the third phase. There is a big chance that CG Sakura would die. If she survives, she can one shot Elnath. But high chance that she will die this turn. So let's wait and see. Yeah, exactly. She died. Um, right now, this is the most crucial part in the fight. That you want to dispel Elnath. It is a must to dispel him. This is your highest priority. Okay, your highest priority is to dispel Elnath. So you dispel him, and then let's say you heal everybody. Warrior of Light. Um, so after uh, you break him, you put in another break for defense. So right now we can break him easily. We break him. So his attack, his defensive are weakened. Next turn, the boss will only, only, he is going to buff his, um, what do you call it, his, uh, uh, his defensives. It will not improve his offensive. So my team will survive. Okay. So this turn, we're going to start building up some damage. So right now the team gonna take impact. The team survived as I, as expected. Now it's up to you if you want to move on slowly in the fight, or you want to continue being aggressive. Uh, is it's it is a choice. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go slow, uh, just because not everybody have the capability to to survive. So this turn I am going to reduce his spirit because CG Sakura mainly gonna use spirit abilities. Um, Oni Knight going to defend. Uh, uh, CG Fina she's gonna do Kyurja and she's gonna re-arise on let's say um, herself. Okay. So now the boss the spirit have been weakened. CG Sakura she should do damage boom boom right in two turns the boss should go down so this turn what we're gonna do we're gonna buff everybody uh, magic uh, lightning This should be able to make the team withstand um, the hyper damage. Lid is very close to, for her limit break. It's not a problem. We're going to debuff the boss. And Warrior of Light going to increase our defensive. There you go. Onion Knight have died just because he was low in health. I didn't heal him. I was greedy last turn. Um, I would easily have healed everybody and took it slower. But that was not a problem. I knew my team would survive because I gave everybody uh, extra... Um, extra uh, lightning resistance, right? So, right now, lead she's gonna go and do 70% break on the boss, and that would make the boss extremely weak. And CG uh, Sa uh, Sakura should be able to take him down with ease. So, it took 10 turns. To five man him, it can be faster. 
with high spirit and defense CG Sakura. If she can survive the impact of the third turn, she can one shot Elnath. If she survives on the third phase, the first turn of the third phase. That's all. Thank you.